Here we're going to find the critical point and phase portrait of the given autonomous first order differential equation and also classify each critical point as stable or attractor, unstable or repeller, and semi-stable. We call the right hand side of this differential equation f of y and we need to find the roots of f of y which will be the critical points of this autonomous differential equation and we will find two critical points of y equals 0 and y equals ln of 9. And these two critical points will divide the y-axis into three different regions. The first region is for the values of y less than 0, and we can pick y equals negative 1 and find the sine of f of minus 1. And for f at minus 1, we will have a positive value in the numerator and also in denominator. And since it's positive, we will have an upward arrow in this region. Then for the next region between 0 and ln of 9, we can choose y equals ln of 2 and find the value of f of y at ln of 2. So in the numerator, we will have 2 times ln of 2 minus 9 times ln of 2 divided by 2 which is minus 7 divided by 2 ln of 2 and it's negative so we will have a downward arrow and finally the last region y greater than ln of 9 and we can pick ln of 12 as an example so then in the numerator we will have 12 times ln of 12 minus 9 times ln of 12 divided by 12 which is 3 ln of 12 divided by 12 and it's positive so we will have an upward arrow so for the critical point of ln of 9 since everything is moving away from it we will call y equals ln of 9 and a repeller or we can say that it's an unstable critical point so for y equals 0, the arrows are toward it. So we will call y equals 0 to be an attractor or stable critical point.